Hi everyone, it's Sandy, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my winter break TBR. I'm not trying to have a super ambitious TBR this winter just because I know that winter break is going to be pretty busy. It's the break before my last semester of undergrad. I'm just going to be busy working or just preparing for this upcoming semester. But there are a handful of books on my TBR that I really do want to get to. Who knows if I'll be able to get through all of them. If I do, that would be amazing. If not, that's okay. I don't film monthly TBRs, but I do like to film seasonal TBRs and definitely a couple of these books have been on a TBR before but I really want to be able to finally pick these books up so that's why I keep continuing to mention them in TBR videos. The first book that I really want to read this winter break is Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. This is the second book to the Renegades trilogy. Renegades is one of my favorite books. I absolutely loved it and this sequel came out in November and I haven't had the chance to pick it up yet. In case you don't know what Renegades is about, it takes place in this universe where people have special abilities. I loved everything about Renegades. I love the characters, I love the plots, and I love that it explores the gray area between what's good and what's bad. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens next in the sequel. So this is definitely a book I really want to get to soon. The next book that I really want to pick up is definitely a book that has been on a TBR video before, and that is Under a Painted Sky by Stacey Lee. I believe I put this in my fall TBR or even summer TBR video of 2017. This is definitely a long overdue read, so I'm I'm really hoping that I can finally pick it up this winter. This book is a historical fiction. I don't read a lot of historical fiction so that's kind of why I've been putting it off. This story is set in the mid 1800s in Missouri. The story follows a Chinese American girl named Samantha who has dreams of becoming a professional musician. A tragic accident occurs that prevents her from fulfilling this dream and leaves her fearing for her life. She encounters this runaway slave named Anna May and together they disguise themselves as two boys making their way across the Oregon Trail. This is Stacey Lee's debut book and I read one of her other books a while ago and I really loved it so I'm really looking forward to reading more from this author. The next book that I want to read is The Conspiracy of Us by Maggie Hall. This is a book that follows a 16 year old girl named Avery and her family is part of a secret society. This secret society believe that Avery is the key to an ancient prophecy and some people want to use her as a pawn and some people want her dead. So because of that she ends up traveling across Europe trying to find clues revolving around this mystery of this prophecy I believe and apparently there are two boys who are a part of the secret society that are going to be working with her and they also have secrets of their own and I swear to god if there is going to be a love triangle in here I'm going to throw this book out the window but I hope not. The next book that I want to read this winter break is Dumplin' by Julie Murphy and this is the movie tie-in edition that I was sent by the publisher so thank you to the publisher for that. I have not read this book yet but with the Netflix movie that just came out early in December I definitely want to pick this book up before I watch the movie. All I know about this book is that it follows a fat main character whose mom was a former beauty queen. The main character Willow Dean starts falling for this jock and she ends up entering a beauty pageant with other people. That's all I know about this book but I really look forward to going into it. The next book that I want to read is one that I don't own with me but it's available on Hoopla so I'm going to be checking it out and that book is Little White Lies by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This book follows Sawyer who is 18 years old and is an auto mechanic. She is contacted by her estranged grandmother who's offering her a six-figure contract to participate in Debbie debutante season. Honestly, I had no idea what a debutante is or what a debutante season is, so I searched it up on Google and it says, a debutante is a young woman of aristocratic or upper class family background who has reached maturity and as a new adult comes out into society at a formal debut or possibly debutante ball. I believe this is a southern thing and this book does take place in the south. She ends up accepting this offer because she needs the money and she also wants to know the identity of her father. So she's drawn into this world of high society full of scandals and secrets and there's also some sort of mystery involved. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love Jennifer Lynn Barnes' Natural series and the Fixer series, so I'm really excited to read a new book by this author. Another book that I really want to read this winter break is The Girl King by Mimi Yu. I received an arc of this book back in May during Book Expo and I just haven't picked it up yet. I had no idea what this book was about other than knowing that it was an Asian-inspired fantasy, so I had to pick it up. So after reading the synopsis of this book, it follows two sisters who are princesses. One of these princesses is supposed to be the father's heir and end up becoming the first female ruler, but instead the father ends up picking one of their male cousins. Somehow these sisters end up becoming rivals to claim the title of emperor. This story is told in three point of views. It has to do with magic, betrayal, and sacrifice, and I'm so excited to read this. This is also a pretty thick book, but I'm so excited to have some Asian fantasy in my life, and I can't wait to share my thoughts on this book with you all. The last book that I really want to read during winter break is A 
contemporary and that is Autobiography by Christina Lauren. I have not read a Christina Lauren book before but I've heard amazing things about this book and this is definitely a book that I've had on a TBR before but hopefully I can get around to reading it this winter break. It is a contemporary book so I think I will definitely get through it pretty quickly. This book follows Tanner who has moved from California to Utah. He is bisexual but because of this move he has to temporarily go back into the closet. Tanner's best friend dares him to take this writing seminar. There's a mentor in the class named Sebastian who is a Mormon prodigy and has sold a novel the year before and Tanner ends up falling for him. So that's all I know about the book but like I said I've heard amazing things about it and I can't wait to read it. That is it for my winter break TBR. If you read any of the books that I mentioned please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye!